four, Long Beach State taking down number one, UC Santa Barbara, which brings us to our current semifinal here between Cal Poly and Hawaii. I'm Rob Aspero with a Mads Fitzpatrick here to call the shots courtside. Mads, what do you have to tell us about our teams competing in semifinal number two? All right, so the first player to watch on Cal Poly's side is Annabelle Falcon. The redshirt sophomore, 6'3 opposite, is coming off an impressive showing in the first round. With 14 kills and four timely blocks, Falcon was a huge contributor and the Mustangs reverse sweep over UC Davis. With more than 250 kills on the season and close to 100 blocks, look to her to carry some momentum from last game to this one. And on the other side of the net, we've got Hawaii's Amber Igidi. The 6'3 senior middle blocker has some of the most elite numbers for a middle I have ever seen. With 389 kills hitting close to 400, with 113 blocks, Igidi has the power to run the show. With a super long and stacked resume of accomplishments in her college career, including 2022 Big West Player of the Year and 2023 All Big West First Team. All right, let's go meet their third member of our broadcast team, kicking it courtside, that's Chloe Clark. Cal Poly had produced that reverse sweep against UC Davis in the first round, so we're looking to bring that same level of hunger here against Hawaii. Now, we can't forget that Hawaii won the last three league titles, so they're likely to come out here to, and apply pressure. Back to you, Rob. Thanks a lot, Chloe, for all the great info courtside. Coming up here in just a few moments, the starting lineups in our Slugfest semifinal number two. Welcome back to Long Beach State's Walter Pyramid here in our Outrigger Resorts. A big West Women's Volleyball Championship. Got the starting lineup for Cal Poly. Got the center, Emmy Bullis. The outsides, Annabelle Falcon, Tommy Stockham, and Lizzie Markovska. In the middle, you have Amy Hyatt and Kate Slack. And Libro, Jalea Kima for the Mustangs. Great lineup for Cal Poly. On the other side of the net, the black clad University of Hawaii Rainbow Wahine. In the middle, they've got Amber Igidi and Kennedy Evans. At the outsides, they're putting up Kaylin Alexander and Kendra Ham. Over Wiley Wagner at defense specials. Libro, Taylor Iganaga. Head coaches for University of Hawaii first, uh, Robin Amo on the left and on the right. Caroline Walters for the Mustangs of Cal Poly. Mads, we've got a good one coming up here, but what are the keys to the match? So the keys to the game for Cal Poly is going to be coming out aggressively offensively and from the service line right out of the gates. In their first round match versus UC Davis, they completed the reverse sweep, but they didn't play to their potential the first two sets. Hawaii will not be as forgiving of this, so the Mustangs need to focus on starting out strong and aggressively right out of the gates. Now, the keys to the game for Hawaii, stay in system and feed IGD. Hawaii has an incredible setter and a dominant middle. They are playing their best when they're controlling that first ball contact right to Kate Lang, who is then allowed to run through Amber, who has the power to run the show. Already into play here in set number one, and Hawaii up 1-0. Lang sets the middle, IGD first attack. Ball's dug and covered by Bullis. Swinging away, stock him to his deadline, dug by Lang, bumps it by Ikenaga, right side over to Ham. Ham off the inside of the block, and point Hawaii as they go up 2-0. Cal Poly coach is Caroline Walters over there on the sideline as Taylor Ikenaga steps back to serve for Hawaii. Walters, a graduate of Santa Clara University in Northern California, as Stockham takes a rip off the block. Bullis sets the middle, dug by Ikenaga, laying in the middle of IGD, covered by Falcon, bump set back by Bullis, dug by Ham, back bump set, broken play, IGD sets it over, Stockham on the hand pass, Bullis right side to Falcon, and she drops it inside the end line. And the head coach for the Hawaii Rainbow Wahine, Robin Amo, three-time Olympian and All-American from the University of Hawaii. Doing some great work, former coach of the year, always doing great stuff on the island. Ikenaga, good pass and laying outside Alexander, tortures it, but goes wide. Point going to Cal Poly. All right, and the keys to the game for Cal Poly. It's going to be coming out aggressively offensively and from the service line right out of the gates against UC Davis. They completed the reverse sweep, 
but they didn't play to their potential. The first two sets and Hawaii will not be as forgiving. So the Mustangs need to focus on starting out strong. Now, the keys to the game for Hawaii, stay in system and feed IGD. Hawaii has an incredible setter and a dominant middle. They're playing their best when they're controlling that first ball contact right to Kate Lang, who's then allowed to run through Amber, who has the power to run the show. All right, Kendra Ham back to serve for Hawaii. Interesting that she's serving against her former teammates as the transfer from Cal Poly. And there is four contacts called on the Cal Poly side, as called by Patsy Malta, our first referee. Burke Fuller is our second referee, while our Lions officials are Deanna Schneier and Miles Faruya. But we have a challenge on the court, looking at Burke Fuller, who's our R2. I believe he's holding up one finger, so we're looking for a block touch to eliminate the four contacts called against Cal Poly. So again, we have a formal CRS challenge looking for a block touch, and that was all cable. What do you think, Mads? Yeah, it doesn't look like it touched Igini's hands or her arms. It was up in the air, but that ball turned down the line and hitting the tape. As you see the Cal Poly huddle there, you've got the assistant coaches chiming in there. That's Jason Borchin and Addie Pika. Well, on the Hawaii side, the assistant coaches are Kaleo Baxter, Nick Costello, and Skylin Engelman. So we've got a great crew on both sides of the court, very well-respected coaches, and even uh, former players back in the day. The ball did and there's going to be a replay because so they have ruled that there touches. was a touch by the Amber IGD. So there's a replay on the court, successful challenge by head coach Caroline Walters. So we replay. Four serving two. Four serving a two, and that's Kendra Ham back to the service. And as I was saying earlier, she transferred from Cal Poly, so she's playing against her former teammates here in our semifinal. There's always a little bit of extra emotion when you're playing your former team. Ball's passed by Markovska. Markovska steps in, swings on the step, blows. Look at that cross-court sizzle. Markovska was the spark to the Mustangs reverse sweep, getting kills in crucial times last match. And you see her there waiting on her approach and then speeding up those last two steps. Her swing is so much fun to watch because it's so smooth and powerful. Jolea Kima steps back to serve for Cal Poly. Deep corner serve to Alexander. Lang gets underneath that slide over to Igini. And that's something that's near impossible to stop. IGD is so effective in front of the setter and behind. We see her there running the slide waiting, taking off, and swinging that ball straight down. She's 6'3", but she's also very physical and jumps very high, so she contacts that ball at a really high point. Kaylin Alexander serves it up deep corner over to Markovska. Bullis goes right side to Thalkin, dug by Ham, laying outside to Wagner, dug by Bullis, bumps that say by Akima, outside to Markovska, high line tip picked up by Ham, Lang looks, shoots outside to Wagner, and Wagner sending a little thunder from the sky. Wagner comes into this match with 212 kills on the season. This is a full team effort. Really good set by Lang straight to her shoulder. It was a quick set. And Wagner taking advantage, seeing Falcons block and swinging down the line. Alexander goes over towards Stockman, set by Bullis, right side to Falcon, dug by Alexander. Lang gets underneath it. Wagner takes a rip off the top, dug by Akima. Bullis outside to the left hand, and Markovska melts one down the line. Markovska has been such a great player to watch this weekend so far. She really has. She leads her team in kills. I'm sorry, she's second in her team in kills, and right here we see why. She's got the unique ability to aim so well, even with that much power, in between two defenders. Ella Scott checks in on the Cal Poly side for Annabelle Falcon. Ikanaga passes off net, saved by him outside of Wagner. Wagner goes off the antenna and out of play, and like that, it's 5-5. And that's why you serve aggressively. They're trying to get Hawaii out of system, and they were able to right there. Scott steps back to the service line. Scott, great defensive play on Wednesday night, helping the Mustangs down 0-2, come back and pull off the reverse sweep. And the dirty ace winner off the cable gets the point for the Mustangs. They take their first lead at 6-5. Something about luck has to be involved on that. It has to be. You're <laughs> aiming for the serve to be flat, and sometimes it's just flat enough that it tags the tape and topples over. Really difficult to get your body underneath it and dig it. 
Deep float serve to Ikenaga. Lang gets underneath it outside of Wagner. Wagner off the head of Amy Hyatt. That's the aspirin uh, play of the night for sure. <laughs> Amy Hyatt gets so high up in the air. Her head is above the net here. It's a good press. It's a solid press. Just up really high. And Wagner also contacting that ball at a high point. I right, on the float down the line, passed by Markovska. Bullis back out to Markovska. Markovska hits it wide. Point going to Hawaii, 7-6. I feel like we have a carryover from our last semifinal going back and forth already. It's going to be a back and forth battle. We see here IGD targeting Markovska on the serve. IGD, first team, all Big West, delivers down the line. Pass by Markovska. Bullis back out to Markovska. Extreme angle dug by IGD. Wagner gets a rip off the block, dug by Akima. Set in the middle to high up, dug by none other than IGD again. Alexander swings and she puts it away. How about that defense by the middle of Amber IGD? Amber IGD is a middle, but she plays like an outside six rotation attacker. Her stats are like an outside attacker, six rotation player. And look at how quick she is to dig up those balls. Such good quick twitch reflexes. IGD again floats down the line of Markovska. Bullis goes back row to Stockham. She's blocked, covered by Scott. Markovska off the block. She covers her own ball, bumps it outside by Stockham, and Markovska swings wide. She's looking for a touch from someone with a flag. But we've got dead flags across the court. And there was nowhere for Markovska to go with that. She had two big blocks on in front of her a really big block press, and so she had to swing high, and that caused her to be uncomfortable in error. Nine, serving a six, Ijide goes down the line, and Markovska, a popular target, as she knocks one off the outside block. And we get a souvenir into our broadcast position. <laughs> so powerful, every single swing. You don't see her take any heat off of it. Big swing by Markovska, as she looks for that outside hand and unfortunately floats that serve long. A little too much adrenaline from that put away from that last ball. Serving at number 10, Kate Which Lang. brings Kate Lang back to serve for Hawaii. Lang, a second team all Big West honoree, serving 10 to seven. Ball's pass by Markovska, outside of Stockham. Stockham block, covered by Akima. Saved by Markovska, rolled by Stockham, picked up by Ham. Laying outside to Wagner, tips by the block, pancake save, but unsuccessful recovery on the Pauly, Cal Pauly side. Smart play by Riley Wagner. We got an early timeout taken by Caroline Walters with her team trailing 11-7 here in set number one. Furious again, out of the game, Smith. And that was a smart shot by Wagner. She had railed a couple of those balls deep, swinging really aggressively. And then the defense is on their heels, so she tips it perfectly. Don't go away. We've got more Outrigger Big West Women's Volleyball Championship action coming at you on ESPN+. Welcome back to the Walter Pyramid site of the Outrigger Big West Women's Volleyball Championships. Brought to you by Hercules Tires. Hercules Tires ride on our strength. Also brought to you by the Hawaiian Islands. Take a trip that gives back and malama or care for Hawaii with us. Learn more at GoHawaii.com. Out of timeout, you got Kate Lang serving 11-7 to the Mustangs of Cal Poly in semifinal number two in our Outrigger Big West Women's Volleyball Championship. Ball set out to Stockham, tip covered by Ham. Lang sets the middle to Kennedy, and she's denied Amy Hyatt waiting, waiting and pushing over. Amy Hyatt close to 100 kills on the season. A really big presence up there at the net. She does a really good job tracking the ball and moving dynamically along the net. Brooklyn Burns checks in for the first time for serving purposes. A six-foot sophomore setter from San Diego. Back set against the grain. Riley Wagner with a rock and roll. And I have to give a lot of those props to Kate Lang, the junior setter, with the beautiful back set. She's a seven-time Big West setter of the week. 
She leads her team with 12 double doubles on the year. She's an all-around player, and that set right there was just beautiful. I believe it's eight-time uh, Big West Player eight of the Week. Eight-time. <laughs> Bola sets outside the stock of it. She hammers it cross court for the winner. Point going to Cal Poly and checking back in is Annabelle Falcon for Ella Scott. Back to serve is Emmy Bullis. Bullis, a six foot sophomore setter from Sacramento, California. Actually, a right side attack by Ham. Doug saved by Akima. Free ball by Stockham. Reset by the Rainbow Wahine. Lang goes back to Ham. Ham targets and snipes Emmy Bola standing right back. That was a snipe type of swing. She didn't swing all the way through it. It was like she snapped and then she stopped her arm swing, which we usually don't do, but boom. It's like a little flick of the wrist with so much power behind it. Taylor Iganaga floats it over towards Markovska, set in the middle by Bullis, and long distance tool by Kate Slack. Actually, not long distance, but a hard tool, and usually that's quite a distance for a ball to travel. And you see here a GD tracking that ball, but Kate Slack swinging it cross court, swiping it off those arms. Stockham back to serve, 10 serving at 13. Alexander with a pass, and Igini drops in the middle. Bolas with a dig, saved by Stockton, outside to Markovska. Through the block of Igini, Lang back out to Alexander. Alexander tips, knocked back down by Slack. Lang looks, sets outside to Alexander. That's like a Jedi mind trick by the center. Looks at the defense and pushes it out. Exactly, the situational awareness right there by Lang, so elite. Right back to her. Cal Poly wasn't expecting it. Lang could feel the block and the defense and goes to who she knows is open. Ham goes down the line to Akima. Bullis back to Thalkin. Thalkin dug by Ikanaga. Lang outside to Alexander. Alexander denied. Turning out the lights are Thalkin and Slack. A big green block. Kate Slack is coming off of five kills versus UC Davis, and she led the team with seven blocks. So she's got that technically sound block that leads Cal Poly. Akima floats it over to her counterpart. Akima, uh, the bill balls blocked in the net by Markovska, set over by Lang, covered by Hyatt. Lang goes outside Alexander. Alexander off the block for the winner. Point going to Hawaii. The block just a little late there. Alexander swinging high. Last time versus Cal Poly, Alexander tacked on 18 kills, which was her highest in Big West play. Kaylin Alexander steps back to the service line for Hawaii. Alexander, three kills, hitting 125 already. Stockham passes off the net, saved by Bullis. Trap set coming, and Lang rejects it down, but a free ball recovery by Cal Poly. You can knock on the pass to Lang outside the Wagner tips. And catching the defense off guard is Wagner as she goes to her soft game. And that's a really deceptive shot. She comes in with a really big approach, looking like she's going to swing. Wait for it. You see here a strong approach, quick back arm swing, so like she's going to power through it. And then she just drops her elbow at the last second and tips it to the open court. The defense obviously not reading that. We've got a timeout taken on the court by Cal Poly, trailing 16-11 here in set number one. You're looking at the Cal Poly Mustang timeout. That's the Caroline Walters speaking to our team courtside. And it's interesting, Cal Poly goes down 0-2 in Wednesday night's matchup and all looked like it was lost. But then what does Coach Caroline Walters do? Inserts Lizzie Markovska and the tide started to turn, and it started to turn fast. <laughs> exactly, she only had a couple kills, but it was that fire and those kills in very crucial times that led her team back to get the reverse sweep. You see the Hawaii Rainbow Warrior fans, or Rainbow Wahine, sorry, uh, that's my men's side coming out, but always a great group of people in the house, the uh, Hawaii Rainbow Wahine fans, always spirited and supporting their bows. Hawaii first out back on the court here, leading by five at 16-11. And you always have to wonder, they had that bye out of the first round, so it's their first match. Do you think that's a, a benefit or a hindrance? I usually find it as a hindrance. Cal Poly's been in this situation. They've played in this gym very recently. They're comfortable. They've worked out the Kings. But Hawaii, it actually doesn't even matter that they haven't played yet. They are coming out super aggressive. 
16, serving 11. Kaitlin Alexander back to serve for the Rainbow Wahine. Hybrid drops in front of Stockham, set by Bullis back to Thalken. Thalken blocks, but goes up and out of play. Yep, IGD blocking that ball, but just not up in the air at the perfect time, not dropping that Bullis left hand serve, down the into the court. Let's take a moment to check in with our courtside reporter, Chloe Clark. Yes, during the timeout, Call Poly's coach credited the team's good rallies, but told them to stay patient, specifically telling attackers to go high and deep in corners. Thank you, Chloe, for the information as Kaylin Alexander hammers it out of the back row. Point going to Hawaii, 17-12. That was a really heavy swing. And that's one of the advantages of having Alexander as a six rotation player. She swings so aggressively from the back and is just as effective as a back row attacker as she is a front. IGD, tough serve, cross court to Akima. And going over on two is Bullis and returning the favor is Lang for the Hawaii tipped over the block by Markovska, above set by Wagner. And Aijidi knocks it out of the back row. Another joust of the net by Bullis. Let's play two ball and see who wins. Yep, Bullis, I loved watching her in those quarterfinals. She's definitely a leader on this team. Very passionate, very fiery. And that's what you want out of your setter. Only a redshirt sophomore, but playing with a lot of poise and maturity. 13, serve to 17. Markovska. Hits a down line, tough serve, picked up by Ham, saved by Lang, free ball by Alexander, just inside the antenna, pass by Markovska, Stockham bombs, but misses wide. Point going to Hawaii. 18 serve to 13, Stockham came in with so much speed on that approach. She wanted to make that defense pay, she wanted to drill it, deep corner. I do think it's important to note that the last time these two teams played, it was neck and neck and the Mustangs narrowly took the game 15 to 12 in the fifth. Kate Lang back to serve already. 13 assists on the night. Goes cross court, tough serve. Pass by Markovska, back to Hyatt. Saved by the Bows. Down ball, picked up by Scott. Set out to Stockham. Stockham down the line, goes off the block. Point going oh, to Cal Stockham. Poly. Substitution checking back in, in. Brecklin Burns, Burns for Amy Burns. Hyatt on the Mustang side. Burns in for defensive and serving purposes, but she's listed as a six foot setter. From San Diego, she floats across court. Ikanaga, good pass to Lang in the middle to Kennedy, and she blasts it for the winner. Kennedy Evans is one of those middles that hits at a pretty high efficiency. She's really deceptive as, a, as an attacker. You see her there pointing her body towards the angle and then swinging cross body down the line with just a high snap on the ball. Really difficult for the defense to read. 19, serving to 14. Riley Wagner, tough serve, picked up by Scott. Bump set on the broken play to Stockham. Stockham misses long. No touch point going to the Bows. 20, serving 14. And we got a challenge on the court by head coach Caroline Walters that there is a block touch. So the formal request on the challenge by Cal Poly is that there was a touch on the block as we look at the replay. And look how confident Tommy Stockham was on that. Immediately she went to the, either give me money or there's a, there's a touch. <laughs> Probably there's a touch. I would go for option one, because give me money is always a good thing. Yep, definitely. <laughs> and I love the trust that Coach Caroline Walters has in her players. She said it was a touch, Coach believed her, and used the challenge. As you know, volleyball is a game of uh, millimeters, if not micrometers. <laughs> Let's see it. Wow. Left hand of, that would be ham. If you look, actually, thumb, thumb. Right thumb of Ham, if that is a touch, it's kind of hard, a little blurry for me, but. It's a little blurry for me too. So you know, last time I guessed I was wrong, so I don't even want to predict. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's Burke Fuller, our second referee on duty courtside, watching the play. That was a great angle though by our ESPN Plus crew. Look, he's got a, a blown up view. We need that courtside here, Mads. Yeah. <laughs> that or a magnifying glass, which I mean, there haven't been too many challenges, but I mean, they've been crucial challenges for points here in this entire tournament so far. Got a couple Hawaii fans hanging out in the sandbar here at the Walter Pyramid. Don't know which team they're rooting for there because both teams are sporting green tonight, so. I know, it's a pretty similar green as well. 
at the video review. There was Looks like there a was touch. a touch. It was the thumb, so that was Kendra Ham. The call is reverse point. With a touch. She's the right side blocker inside of Kennedy Evans. So score goes to 15, looking at 19, bringing Emmy Bullis back to serve. Emmy Bullis. Bullis had a wonderful night on Wednesday night in the orchestrating that comeback. Eight assists and four digs already, and floats that one long so after long winning long that long already. challenge. That's <laughs> never something that you want to do, especially because you win the challenge, you got the momentum the back on your side, you want to capitalize on it, but we are early and there hasn't been many missed serves. Taylor Ikanaga back to serve already. Three digs on the night. 20 serving to 15. Bullis, perfect pass. Uh, correction, Stockton, perfect pass. Bullis, ball's picked up by Wagner off the floor. Akima on the free ball pass, and Stockham hits that one yeah, wide and points. long. 21, Please. serving a 15. Looks like we have a, another challenge on the court. Was this one going to be ball in or out? Let's see. I cannot see the fingers he's holding up. Is he two or three? I think he was holding up a two. So they're challenging if the ball is in. That is the second one. It goes uh, touch, in, out. Net, attack line violation are the criteria, or service line fault. So Bert Fuller is again looking at the video. We got a formal challenge again. Caroline Walter, she still has both of them after the first successful challenge for that touch. Let's see if she can go two for two early on here. And we are waiting for the judgment by the R2, Bert Fuller. Looking at Jason Borch in there and the staff as well as Addie Pika. We're going to take a good look at it. So it did touch the floor. Look at the bounce. That's a good challenge. Wow. It, I mean, it looked good, but I mean, from our side, but you know, from that angle, from it definitely angle. looked like it hit the floor. Yep. Swinging outside, Stockham. Wagner. Oh, wow, yep. <laughs> Good catch on that. It looks like it bounces off the floor and then hits her hand. The ball, was down the ball the is called time. down, so point early, two early, for early, two early, on early, challenges early, for head coach early, Caroline Walters with a Best early. Actress award going to Riley Wagner. <laughs> Seriously, that's why I love the challenge system. You should be rewarded if you get the challenge correct. We've got to give her a, a trophy, the uh, Academy Award afterwards. Floats her by Stockham, goes towards Alexander. It's a shank ball, but saved by Lang. Free ball by Alexander. Picked up by Thalk and set by Bullis. Out to Barkosko, off the block. Lang on the cover. Iganaga bumps that to right side. Ham swings off the block, and it goes out of play. Great looking play by Kendra Ham. And I was going to say this. If you're a kid and you're watching this, take notes. This is a perfect out of system play. It's a really well controlled first ball contact by Kate Lang and a perfect set by the Libero. Kendra Ham, the six-foot senior outside hitter from San Diego and Torrey Pines High School. Coached by Brennan Dean over there at Torrey Pines. Picked up by Kaylin Alexander. Alexander swings down the line and sends a little fire. Bolas' yeah, way. 22 point. serving a 16. How in, did she get that kind of swing fading away from the net? I was about to say that with no approach, almost moving backwards, still has a nice solid arm swing and a full swing down the line. Tough serve by Hannah. Akima with a pass. Bumps it outside of Markovska from Stockham. Lang just pulls. Ikanaga trap bumps set over to Alexander. And she follows through into the net. Bows on the net point. Lang read that so early. She's already 10 feet off the net for the free ball. Exactly. And it was actually <laughs> the entire front line read that. Markovska just <laughs> dropped her elbow really early. And Hawaii read it. I know they would love to capitalize off that. Jalea Kima back to serve for Cal Poly. Tough float serve for Ikanaga. Trap for, and up top, Amy Hyatt takes down to Markovska on the overpass. Knocked out, dug by Ikanaga. Back to Ijini. And Ijini just waiting at the right side. <laughs> the four time Big West Offensive Player of the Week is an absolute machine up there. Doesn't even have a full approach, just waiting. Powers <laughs> through that ball with so much aggression and force. She is so strong. Halen Alexander back to serve the six-foot sophomore outside hitter from Alpharetta, Georgia. Goes cross court to Lizzie Markovska. Markovska and Bullis sets talk around the back row. She's denied, bringing us our first set point. And it's set point, Rainbow Wahine serving a 17. And there's no wonder why a GD 
almost has 115 blocks on the season. Does a really good job reading that ball and shot blocking that. Alexander goes towards Markovska. Bullis sets back to Markovska. She goes off the block, dug by him, covered by Ikanaga. Wagner tips, blocked at the net by Hyatt. Lang sets outside. Wagner one on one against Dalkin. And set number one goes to Hawaii Rainbow Wahines. They go up one set to zero in our best of five. Outrigger Big West Women's Volleyball Championship semifinal number two. Mads, that was an insane rally, but we are going to be coming back for more Outrigger Big West Women's Ed Volleyball Championship in just a few moments here on ESPN Plus. From Welcome back to Long Beach State University and the Outrigger Big West Women's Volleyball Championship, which is brought to you by Ticket Smarter. Ticket Smarter, think smarter, think Ticket Smarter. Also brought to you by Ontario Airport. Ontario International Airport makes traveling in and out of SoCal so easy. And looking at the Long Beach State women's volleyball team advancing to the championship match here tomorrow evening. Let's see. Coming up on the screen, we've got the University Credit Union stats. Bank with your brain. Visit ucu.org today. Mads, what do you do? What are you seeing on the screen when it comes statistically in this matchup after one set of play? Well, we said it during the break. You said it perfectly. Hawaii is just on an offensive tear. 19 kills to Cal Poly's 11, hitting 341 to Cal Poly's 167. They've got a bunch of individual players that are just going off offensively. Wagner, six kills, hitting 455. Ham, four kills, hitting 800. IGD, hitting 250. I mean, all of these players, all of their offensive weapons are stepping up, and they're just out offensing, if you will, Cal Poly at the moment. I just made that up. <laughs> well, Caitlin Alexander also has six kills, but not as high a hitting clip, but she's still got six kills, and that's six points right exactly. there. Exactly. Kate Lang spreading out the offense really well. Wagner starts off the second set with a tough float to Markovska. Bullis goes backside to Thalkin. Thalkin pokes it through the block of Alexander and Evans. Point going to uh, Cal Poly, which brings Tommy Stockham back to serve. Stockham, four kills, hitting 154. She was uh, covered by every single player from Davis on Wednesday night, but she still was so effective. She found a way to power through, yep. Lang shoots it out to Alexander, and it's knocked off the block. It was a flat attack, but enough to get the block of a Slack and Falcons since they're huge. <laughs> yep, exactly. Taylor Ikanaga serving it up for the Rainbow Ahine. Ikanaga hits the hybrid down the line. Markovska passes off the net. Bullis back to Falcon. Falcon laying it down. Point going to the Mustangs. Something that I love about Falcon is that she's always communicating with her setter. She always wants to be involved. She's screaming what set she wants every single play, and she's always in the air. Jalea Kima with four digs, serving it up, goes off the cable, passed by Ajita. One hand dish by Lang, tipped over by Ham. Backside set to Bullis to Thalkin. Thalkin dug by Lang. Bumps it by Ikanaga out to Alexander. Goes off the block. Hyatt knocks it down on a double hand attack. Outside Alexander again. She's denied. Covered once again by Wagner. Set by Lang. Alexander denied again. Covered by Ajide. Bumps it by Ikanaga. Right side to Ham. She's denied. And this time tools it off the right side. Block. Persistence, persistence, persistence. Exactly. Cal Poly put up a wall throughout that entire play. Cal Poly actually 16th in the nation in total block. So very elite in that area. You see them there putting up a wall, putting up a wall, but then just tooling off the high hands. Kendra Ham serves it down the line and gets an ace Hawaiian style. Point going to the Bows as we have a kick line over on the Hawaii bench celebrating. That was always my favorite. You get a kill, you go back to serve, and you get the ace. There's no better feeling. Kendra Ham again, the senior from San Diego, California. Passed by McCove. Scott Bullis goes right to Falcon. Falcon dug by Ham. He can knock on the save. Wagner swings away, and it's called wide. I wouldn't be surprised if we saw a challenge because it's that close. But Robin Amo just chilling. <laughs> I'm really impressed by Kendra Ham's defense on that ball. You see her there crashing into that open seam. 
taking that ball, she could see that it was going to be hit there because of the open area in between the block, but whoo, that was a close one. <laughs> Ella Scott, in the meantime, checks in for Annabella Falcon. Tough serve, passed by Wagner, and that's an ace. Point going to Cal Poly. It actually was Riley, or cross correction, Kendra Ham on the pass. Got a screen by the official standard here, so I was guessing. <laughs> and that's one thing that's going to set these two teams apart is who can serve the most aggressive and get the other team out of system the most. Scott back to the service line, up 4-3. Floats it across to Wagner, laying on the slide to Igidi, and Igidi throws down up and over the block. And it looks like Coach Caroline Walter said, what about that net? IGD immediately said the ball was dead already, and she hits it so fast, I, I don't doubt her. <laughs> yep, and IGD is so athletic. That set just a little low, but IGD sped up that slide approach really quickly and got her feet to the ball. Floats her, misses Jess Long, point going to Cal Poly, which brings it Lizzie Markovska back to serve. Markovska, three kills, but only hitting 077. But she has been the target of the Hawaii serve. Markos got tough dropping serve, pass by Alexander, back to Igidi, Igidi setting fire in the hole. Big hole between Hyatt and Stockham. Yep, and when you have a hole like that, a player like Igidi is going to swing really shallow and into that hole, cutting it off quickly and taking advantage of that gap. Igidi steps back to the service line for Hawaii, four kills, zero errors, hitting 400. Floats it deep, misses long, point going to the Mustangs. That's only Hawaii's second service error. Now both teams have two. Got a substitution checking in for the first time for Cal Poly. London Haberfield. For Annabelle Falcon. Haberfield floats it cross court, pass by Wagner out in the back row to. Alexander, who sends fire from the sky. Point going to Hawaii. Back in comes Hyatt for Haverfield. And Kate Slack was front row, so they only had two offensive weapons on the front row, and they go with their back row attacker. That's one of the advantages of having Alexander play all the way around. Floats her by Lang, goes towards Akima, and a dump attempt by Bullis is blocked by Wagner. Stockham tips over the block, covered by Lang, bumps it up by Ikenaga. Wagner reaching for the sky. Point going to Hawaii. Wagner is coming out aggressive and hot every single time. Solid defense by Kate Slack, who actually leads her team in digs, and then Wagner with a nice smooth swing. Kate Lang steps back to the service line. Seven serving to six now. Float serve high, rises up on Scott, Stockham takes a rip, dug by Alexander, dumped by Ham, dug by Slack, set by Bullis, Stockham drills it down the line. Point going to Cal Poly, tying it up at sevens. And that's when Stockham is at her best. She's using all of her range. She's not just swinging as hard as she can. She's swinging with purpose and with placement. And you see right there, going over Kate Lang's head. Emmy Bullis back to the service line, hits one deep and long. I feel like there's a lot of service errors in this particular match. The As Riley Wagner goes back to serve for Hawaii, Wagner, the six-foot senior outside from Dublin, Ohio, also plays on the beach team. I believe in the what? The twos, the twos and threes is where she plays at. Wagner deep floats deep. Maybe the ventilation system is uh, playing havoc here. That's what it is. It's not all the extra hype or the nerves. It's the ventilation. <laughs> <laughs> Call the AC guy. We're having some trouble here. <laughs> Eight serving to eight. Tommy Stockham back to serve for the Mustangs. Hits it down the line. Tough serve. Pass by Wagner. Bumps it over by Lang. Picked up by Thalkin. A broken play already on the Cal Poly side. Markovska down ball. Lang on a dig. Ikanaga bumps. That's right side to Ham. Ham dug by Bullis. Stockham calls for it on the bump set to the left side. Markovska. Markovska got the block and taken out the trash is Kendra Ham. And that's exactly what you want out of Kendra Ham in that situation. Cal Poly, all of the players kind of on the left side of the court and everyone kind of a little shallow. We'll watch it here. Ikenaga. Jumping up and hitting to the right back of the court. 
Ikanaga serves it again. Pass by Stockham. Bulla shoots it to Slack. Covered off the block by Akima. Right side to Falcon. She's blocked. Covered by Bullis. Set by Stockham. High ball. Markovska tries to tip it and successfully outreaches Kennedy Evans. Actually is Kendra Ham. And I don't think uh, Igini was able to get a jump on that because it's one-on-one. -on -one. Yeah, she didn't. Yeah, she took her arms down. Alexander, perfect pass. Lane goes against the grain, and Kendra Ham yeah. is oh, definitely on, catching everyone's eye tonight yeah, at the right sure. side. And that's what happens when Hawaii is in system. A perfect set to Kate Lang, and she can set whoever she wants on the court right there, being so deceptive. Not even Markovska there to block that ball. Seven kills, zero errors, 636. That's wow. Kendra Ham's stat line. Free ball over, Igini steps in on the pass, slide to Igini, and she pops a cap in a corner. It's Hawaii's world, and we're just living in it right now. <laughs> really in system, almost every single play. Nice, clean, clean gameplay. They look like a well-oiled machine these past few points. They're bringing the muscle out from the Hawaiian Islands, and they are doing it. Ball's passed. Out of play, count that as an ace for him. That's back-to-back -back aces, I believe, or her second ace in this sequence of services. We've got a timeout taken by Cal Poly, now trailing 12-9 here in set number two after dropping the first, 25-17. to Mads, Hawaii on a serious roll. I'd call it a steamroll at this point. Yeah, they're taking care of every single aspect of the game. The first ball contact has been really clean. It's a three pass. Kate Lang is able to run through all of her offensive weapons and even the back row when Alexander is back there. Don't go away. We've got more Outrigger Big West Women's Volleyball Championship semifinal number two coming at you on ESPN+. Plus. Welcome back to the Walter Pyramid where green hair is a thing here because there are a lot of green teams competing tonight between the Mustangs of Cal Poly and the Rainbow Wahine of Hawaii. As you see, Kendra Ham back to serve for the Bows. Tight pass by Markovska, tipped by Thalk and picked up by Lang. Bump set by Ikanaga, out to Alexander. Alexander dug by Akima, bump set by Bullis. Free ball by Markovska. Ikanaga, free ball pass, Lang back on the side to Ijide. And Ijide, unstoppable. Yep, she really is. She's hitting close to 400 on the season. So she just is not just efficient now. She's been efficient all year long, right there, going over the block and down the line. She has outside attacker kill n uh, numbers, but a middle attacker percentage, which is a great combination. Yep. Service ace for the Rainbow Wahine makes it 14-9. Kendra Ham putting on the magic juju from the service line. Yeah, Kendra Ham with seven kills, hitting 636, and now two aces, nine digs as well. There's a delay. That should be ace number three, I believe. Oh wow. Ham hits the hybrid down the line to Markovska. Bullis sets Markovska and she puts it away to stop the scoring run. 10 serving to 14. Something I love about Markovska's swing is all of her momentum moving forward and then when she's in the air, she uses her entire body to attack the ball and it's almost like a full body crunch in the air using all of it to snap. And that's a sign of a strong outside hitter when they're using every muscle in their body to put add into that force on the attack. Ella Scott serves it down the line. I thought it was in, but it floats long. So long, a point. Hawaii. Point going to the Rainbow Lahina as Kaylin Alexander goes back to the service line. She's sporting eight kills, hitting 278 with five digs and an ace. Hawaii has played with so many different lineups, and they are so talented and deep. Markovska, bad pass, saved by Bullis. Roll shot blocked in the net, covered by Hyatt. Bump set by Bullis back outside to Markovska, and she sizzles it right between the seam. And what's so impressive about that swing is IGD and Kate Lang were both there. They were ready, they were timed up, but Markovska still found the seam and drove it through. Which brings Markovska back to the service line. Markovska, the 5'11 redshirt sophomore outside from Menifee, California, floats it long. Point going to Hawaii. I feel like this is very similar to Wednesday night for Cal Poly. Yep, just a few too many errors early on. But they had to put in Markovska in the third set, and she's playing all the way around here. So I wonder what kind of tweaking Coach Caroline Walters is going to do. 
as IJD floats line. Ball's passed by Markovska, set to stock him, and that ball's hit wide. That float serve, you can read the label, because there's no movement the way it came off of her hand, which mean there's, means there's a lot of movement on the float. And Amber Igini is running towards the sideline. I guess she is thinking she's gonna get subbed out. What happened here? Amy, I <laughs> I'm actually not sure. Did we miss, a, was that an out of rotation serve? Because Amy Hyatt now goes back to serve and Igini rotated off. I think there may have been a rotation violation. Wagner takes a pass, it looked like when it was going out. Lang sets back row to Alexander, goes into the net. Point going to Cal Poly, regardless, we play on 13-16. And just like that, Cal Poly has an opportunity to gain some momentum and work their way back into this game. Hyatt, formerly an outside hitter, has been asked by Coach Caroline Walters to jump into the middle. Tip by the block, Kenny Evans saved by Scott and Hyatt as Borkowska just knocks it over to keep him play. Wagner dug by Borkowska, bumps it by Hyatt right to the outside to stock him. Dug by Lang, Ikanaga bumps it, left in. Wagner off the block, Hyatt on the save. Bullis shoots it out to stock him, stock him off the defender. Point Cal Poly, and like that, it's only a two point deficit. And that was Bullis, the setter from pin to pin. Look at this set, getting her body behind it, keeping the ball in front of her. And then perfectly set to Stockman's shoulder, who just tools off the high hands. We got a timeout taken by Hawaii as coach Robin Amo not liking this run by the Mustangs of Cal Poly. And she is intense and she is instructing. You're looking at Kennedy Evans there, her middle blocker, and Kendra Ham as well as Kate Lang listening in intently. Hawaii up 16-10 at one point, now 16-14. And this is a very, very dangerous and lethal Cal Poly team. As he said, we keep referring to it, o down 0-2 on Wednesday night and dug deep and was able to take care of business in a reverse sweep. As we look at some of the athletes on the court, Hawaii, very talented roster. They've used so many different starting lineups each each like it just seems like every week <laughs> which i guess is a great problem to have and we've seen uh, kendra ham kaylin alexander julia gershing uh riley wagner <laughs> we've got so many different athletes coming in for the rainbow wahine during the season all contributing to their winning cause first teams are back on the court with is hawaii and then cal poly as amy hyatt is waiting at the service line for the whistle from patsy malta our first referee on duty tonight burke fuller our second referee hyatt back to serve for cal poly floats it deep to wagner lang goes back to alexander dug by scott bullish shoots it to stock him at the she's block covered by scott Bullis back out to Stockham. She hits it wide. I just feel like Stockham's not getting a good contact on the ball. Yeah, that set just a little too far outside for her, so she had to swing outside of her body. She didn't transition far enough off the net to have a full approach in front of her as well. Laying back to the service line for Hawaii. Floats it down the line towards Scott. Bullis sets the middle to slack, and she hits it wide. A lot of hitting errors on the Mustang side that are leading to this four-point now lead for Hawaii. Five attack errors, according to our statue. I think maybe one slow, but that's six three points for Hawaii as Akima steps into the pass. Jaffs in the net, one out by Bullis, picked up by Lang outside to Wagner. Wagner off the block, dug by Markovska. Bump set say by Stockham. Free ball coming, put over by Bullis. Ham steps in on the pass. Ham swings through the block. Yeah, yeah. It's like a two-step approach. She is still able to put it away. It was, it was a quick two-step. Quick jump, she got her feet to the ball really nicely and snapped on it. She passed it. The ball got returned to her, and then you see there, Kate Slack not closing the block. You want your middle blocker to get all the way there, have their max jump, dive their arms into that open seam, and create like a wall along the net. We've got a timeout taken once again by Cal Poly, trailing by 5, 19, 14. And that's one of the, the characteristics about this particular 
uh, Outrigger Big West Women's Volleyball Championship is the amount of good setters and how fast the offenses have been. Exactly. The offenses are so fast. We just watched it in the last semifinal, but it is such a quick game and it makes it really difficult for the middles. And the middles are doing a lot of running around on defense off the block, but as a hitter, a lot of it is rhythm and tempo on this fast and furious offense. So if you're a step behind, you're going to be in a bind. Exactly. <laughs> it's that setter-hitter connection. It's trusting your setter. It's being in the air, ready for your setter to set straight to your hand. But the level of setters in this conference is really incredible this season. Well, on the other side of the coin is if you're running that fast and furious offense, you're throwing the other blockers off. You know, make for some great highlight reels because you have one block, no block, and thumping it inside the 10-foot line. It's been so entertaining. We've seen some 10-foot line, some 8-foot line kills. It's been fun to watch. We've seen some uh, tomahawk chops. We've seen some decapitations, like, down the line. And I mean, there's just been some fast balls being hit here. We've seen some snipes as well. <laughs> as Kate Lang goes back to serve at 19 to 14. Lang, the second team all Big West sonnery. Set in the middle to slack, and she puts it away to stop the scoring oh, run. Oh, 15 yeah. serving to 19. Substitution as Annabelle in. Falcon checks back in for Ella Scott. Annie Bullis serving. Bullis steps back to the service line. 17 assists, five digs. Deep serve to Alexander. Lang, high ball out to Ham. Ham off speed, dug by Markovska. Bullis outside to Stockham. Dug by Ham, set by Lang, back row to Alexander. And talk about taking care of business out of the back row. And there's that full body crunch that I talked about earlier with Markovska, that you're at, her entire body was into that swing, using every single muscle to swing through that ball. Riley Wagner goes back to the service line for the Rainbow Wahine. Floats it over towards Stockham. Bullis on the quick back to slack, and just a soft touch on the quick back attack. Sometimes it looks so easy, but it's really not. Oh, Kennedy yeah, Evans just okay. not there fronting that middle attacker. Stockham back to serve for the Mustangs. Stockham, seven kills, hitting 182. Hits the hybrid off the cable. Saved by Lang. Ikanaga bump sets right side to Ham. Ham swings, dug by Bullis. Great dig. Akima bump sets right side to Thalkin. Thalkin high off the block. Lang on the dig. Ikanaga bump sets right side to Ham. Ham goes hard and high off the block. Higher, harder, faster, baby, is what she's saying. Ham is having an incredible night. That ball traveling over her body. It is more difficult to be a right-handed, right-side attacker. But she did a good job waiting for that ball to track all the way over and then swung down the line, tooling the hands. 21 serving to 16, Ikanaga. Load serve over to Akima. Bullis goes back to Falcon. Falcon off the block of Alexander for point. Going to Cal Poly. Yep, you want from Alexander for her to be all the way at the pin, and then you want her to turn her left hand into the court and angle her hands into the court to block that down and in. For Thalkin, that's five kills. She has 15 attempts, only hitting 267. Lang sets IGD. She's blocked by Hyatt and Thalkin. Knocked down by Markovska on the second ball. Set outside to Alexander. Dug by Stockham. Goes out of play on the attack by Alexander. Point going to Hawaii, 22-17. Had a uh, near-death experience with Falcon running my direction here. And Alexander's swing is so springy and explosive and quick. Sometimes you don't even see it coming. Ham, tough floats are over towards Stockham outside of Markovska. And that's Mar the Markovska of the Rise and Rip Club. Yep, she cut that ball off quickly, swung all the way through it, and turned it down the line, tooling those hands. Coming in again is Ella Scott, the freshman defensive specialist from San Clemente, California, in San Clemente High School, 18 served at 22. She delivers down, down the line over towards Ham. Lang goes out to Alexander, tipped, dug by Scott, set by Bullis, rolled by Markovska, dug by Ham, slide from uh, Lang over by Gini, and she double flexes because she knew she got it. 23-18. A lot of the times for middles, you see them just want to bang balls, but Igini has such a wide arsenal of her offensive shot. She can read the other side of the court so well and see the open areas. 
Kalen Alexander serving it up with 10 kills, hitting 261 and five digs and an ace. Ball is passed by Scott off the net, saved by Akima outside to Markovska, off the block, dug by Ikanaga. Lang goes left side to Wagner. Wagner through the seam again. Something in the water for Hawaii is really working tonight. I call this the flow zone. You're not really thinking it's muscle mechanics at this point, and everything is going in your favor. Set point serving at 18. Going with the flow. As Alexander hits the hybrid. Good serve, tough serve pass. I stock him up now. Saved by Markoska. Stock him, swings away. Doug at the right back by Ham. Back to Taijiti, and it's off the knee. Still good. Free ball off the kneecap. Lang goes outside of Wagner. Wagner tips. Doug by Scott goes up and over. Picked up by Ikanaga. Lang outside of Wagner. Wagner off the block. And Wagner again for set point. As Hawaii goes up. Two sets to zero, taking the second, 25 to 18, to go up on the Mustangs here in our Outrigger Big West Women's Volleyball Championship semifinal number two. Don't go away, we've got more intense Outrigger Big Welcome back to Long Beach State University and the Walter Pyramid site of our Outrigger Big West Women's Volleyball Championship. We're in semifinal number two. The championships are brought to you by B1 Patches by B1.com. The B1 Patch, don't compete without it. Also, Jersey Mike's. Jersey Mike's, a sub above. Looking at the Long Beach State women's volleyball team who have advanced to our championship match tomorrow night, hanging in the crowd, observing our current match in play, which we've got our stats up for after two sets of play. I'm Rob Espero with Mads Fitzpatrick. And Mads, what are we seeing here pattern-wise that's happened so far in our semi? So as you see there, the digs are pretty similar, but what's setting Hawaii apart is the clean volleyball. And as a team, they're hitting 367. So they're running a well-balanced offense, and that's run by Kate Lang. We've got Alexander with 10 kills, Ham with nine, hitting 563. Wagner with nine kills and IGD with seven, hitting 467. So that just speaks to the balance of this Hawaii offense. Well, if you're looking at those numbers there, Hawaii is just playing a very well. And as you see, we got our first two sets of highlights coming up on the screen after one set of play. It's Amy High, but look at Amber Igini playing D for the Rainbow Wahine and Alexander delivering out of the back row. Again, you're looking at the play in set number one and Kaylin Alexander finding her groove at the left pin. And Riley Wagner, another one who has been really taken off. Another new lineup for the Rainbow Wahine. Set number two, not much change for the Rainbow Wahine. Cal Poly trying to make a lot of adjustments, but Kaylin Alexander saying, nope, I'm, I've got this thing going on. Just keep on going to me. And Kate Lang feeding Alexander because she knows she's got the hot hand. And of course, Alexander on defense there, but Kendra Ham, another one you got to watch out for. On the Rainbow Wahine side, there's Alexander delivering again. And it seems like any kind of ball she's swinging at is resulting in a point. Exactly, and it's from every single area of the court, too. We see there 10 kills, 5 digs, hitting 261, which is really solid efficiency from a pin attacker. Kalen Alexander feeling it, you know, because there have been so many different lineups. I'm, I'm sure it's super competitive in the Rainbow Ahine gym. You got to figure they want to get their court time, and Alexander started out as a starter. Last year was a really consistent face on the court for the Rainbow Wahine. But let's be honest, Coach Robin Amo coaches up her players. They come in with talent, they come out with even more talent. And that's well why she's been Coach of the Year multiple times. We're about ready to get started here in set number three. Can Cal Poly live to the legend of the very short history of the Outrigger Big West Women's Volleyball Championship coming back in five? like they did the other night on Wednesday. But this Hawaii team playing on a mission. They know they represent something much bigger than themselves, which is a Hawaiian Islands 40 straight NCAA appearances, and that's what they're gunning for. Alexander tight pass to Lang, but Lang saves it anyways. Evans knocks it down, covered 
by Thalkin. Soft touch Kate by Slack. Kate Slack finds the floor. 1 0, Cal Poly. And sometimes as a blocker, of course you want to block that ball straight down, but you also want to take up space and you want to slow down the attack. And that's what Kate Slack did so well right there is getting that block touch. Emmy Bullis delivers down the line. They're working Alexander. Alexander gets the ball right back. She's blocked cover by Ham. Lang goes back on the no look over to Alexander. Ball's tapped down the net by Thalkin, saved by the Bows. Alexander this time wipes off the block. You know what? He almost got I got to thank my lucky charms on that one. Yep. Remember that old cereal? Yes. <laughs> you give her one set, you give her a second set, and you trust her so much that you give her a third set, and she delivers on that third set. Taylor Ikanaga serving it up, one serving to one. She floats line over to Stockham. Stockham passes by us to the left side. Bad set, saved by Stockham. Lang on the dig. Ham on the right side attack. Misses Long, and they're all looking for a touch. Will they challenge? Will Robin Amo challenge? She just kind of looks down, looks away. Just go back on the court. She looked at Amber and goes, go back on the court. Yeah, it doesn't seem like she wants to challenge that. Stockham back to serve at two serve to one. Stockham. Goes into the net, point going to Hawaii, tying it up at twos. Here's the stat line of the night so far, though, uh, Mads. Kendra Ham, nine kills, one error, 471, 13 digs. Wow. <laughs> She's going to have herself a double double with a really high hitting efficiency. She must have a lot of family in attendance here. Coming right up, 405 freeway. Outside, Bullis to Markovska. Igini tips over the block, covered by Slack. Bullis goes right side, Thalkin. Thalkin tugged by him. Lang goes outside, Alexander. Alexander cross court tugged by Akima. And Thalkin tools it off the block of Igini and Alexander. And we're talking about the offenses a lot, but that was a really good defensive showing from both teams. Both teams having really solid cross court digs, stepping into that angle and popping those balls up. Julia Kima goes down the line towards Ham. Perfect pass to Lang. Tip by the block and swatting it is Hyatt. Lang goes back to IGD. IGD goes over the block. Dug by Stockham. Bullis pushes it out to the outside to Markovska. And she goes long distance toolage. And it's that quick swing that allows her to tool the block, which was just a little bit early. Those hands in the air just a little bit early. And she was coming down while Markovska was hitting that ball. Four serving at two, and uh, the Hawaii Rainbow Wahine crowd coming to life. Lang sets outside Alexander. Alexander dug by Stockham. Bullis sets left side over to Markovska. Markovska heating up at the left pin. Markovska, listed at 5'10", plays way bigger. She really does, and it's because she allows herself to have such a long approach and then uses all of that momentum to max jump every single time. Float serve down the line, pass by Ham, it goes over the net, and Hyatt takes out the trash. Point Cal Poly, and Robin Amo takes a timeout, down 6-2 here in set number three. I mean, Cal Poly plays like a wounded dog backed up into a corner. I'm getting a little bit of a deja vu from two days ago. Cal Poly, like we said before, completed the reverse sweep. They're going to try to complete back-to-back -back -back reverse sweeps here tonight. Things Don't go away. We've got smarter. more Outrigger Big West Women's of Volleyball Championship semifinal action coming to Pyramid here in semifinal two of our Outrigger Big West a Women's Volleyball Championship. Cal Poly leads in set number three in a must win set if they want to go to a fourth, six to two. Jolea Kima, tough serve. Lang sets it outside to Alexander. Alexander waffles it wide. And that Point. set from Lang just a little too far off the net. There was and it seemed like she did push a little too far outside. Alexander did what she could to control it. Ham on the pass. Lane goes back to GD. GD up block, dug by Stockham. Bump set by Bullis. Right side, Thalkin dug by Lang. Say by GD. Alexander tries to tool through the block and leaning a little too far forward was Annabelle Thalkin. So net violation called against the Mustangs. And if you're Hawaii, you're very happy you just stopped that Cal Poly run who seemed like it could go on forever. Back to serve goes Caleb Alexander, 11 kills, hitting 207, five digs. Alexander hits it cross court over towards Stockham, and a little communication issues between Markovska and Stockham as it drops on the end line. Sidelines and seams as I keep thinking, or shoots and ladders, one of the two. Yep, right in between two serve receivers and painting that back line. That's exactly how you want to serve that ball. 
Alexander hops, skipping a jump on the hybrid. Bad pass, make that an ace. <laughs> back to back. Hop, skip, jump, ace. <laughs> And just like that, they're within two. That's what aggressive serving can do for you. Like that, Hawaii within a pair at 5-7. Alexander. That's only her first second ace of the night. Bullis goes back to Thalkin, and Thalkin scrapes the paint on the sideline. Point going to count Hawaii. And Kendra Ham was there in the angle. She just needed to take one more shuffle step around and line up a little more sharp in that angle. You see there, all it takes is one more shuffle step, get your body in front of it, angle your platform into the court. Ella Scott back to serve for the Mustangs. Eight serving to five, goes off the cable, say by Lang, Ikanaga takes care of it. Wagner swings away, she's blocked, covered by Ikanaga. Lang looks, sets it over, covering his Hyatt and tipping it over is Markovska. Ham to Lang, to Ijide on the winner. How fast was that transition play? That's exactly what I was about to say. IGD worked so hard in transition to get off the net and be up in the air for Kate. IGD steps back to the service line, trailing 6-8 here in set number three. IGD hits it down the line and drops for an ace. That thing had a wicked bottom drop out of it. And that's why you float serve, because it moves so much from the time it contacts your hand to the time it's on the other side of the net. It's like she had a remote control. It was a clear to net. She <laughs> dropped it really fast. Seven serve to eight. Igedi again goes line. Pass by Stock with a bad pass. Back to back aces. Point. And we're tied 8-8. Eight, eight, and the crowd goes wild. I was going to say if you're wearing green, but both teams have green. Yeah. <laughs> and that's four aces for Hawaii. Really, really back to back. IGD effective everywhere tonight for the Rainbow Wahine. IGD hits it this time towards Akima. Bull is out to Markosa. Tip covered by Ham. Laying outside to Wagner. Tip covered by Scott. It falls as it's dug out of play. Wagner pulled the brakes in that ball somehow. Yep, she did. That was a really mature shot. That ball a little low, so she stuck out her hand and made the smart decision not to error and to tip that ball to the open court. That was a really high-level mature spot. With that, it's a 9-8 lead now for Hawaii. And Amber Ijidi just dropping aces like she's been fresh off the bus from Vegas. <laughs> I mean, and, and that's what separates a good team from a great team is the service pressure and your ability to serve aggressively and not air. Hawaii with four aces from Alexander and Ijidi. Let's check out all the aces here in our Replay of what we've seen so far. Look at end line love. One ace right there for Amber IGD. Here's another ace. Kendra Ham, or actually Kale Alexander, drops it. IGD again. That's the winning pair. Three aces shown right there in our highlight reel. Looking at our stats, Amber IGD has two aces on the night, but Kendra Ham has snuck in there and has three of her own. And wow, yeah, Hawaii. Kaylin Alexander with two. Hawaii upping that service pressure because when Cal Poly is in system, they're very dynamic and they terminate at a very high level. So Hawaii understanding that they need to serve aggressive. Hawaii, the illegal deck of aces because they've got seven. <laughs> yeah. Amber IGD back to the service lineup, 9-8 here in set number three. IGD, the first team All Big West honoree, hits it line, passed by Markovska, Bullis in the middle to Hyatt, and she bangs high off the block Maybe of Evans. And that's exactly what I was just talking Cal about. Poly. When Cal Poly is in system, they terminate at a very high Is level, and they're able really? to run through Kate Slack and Amy High at their middles. Well, Cal Poly doesn't run a lot of uh, show and go here or uh, shake and bake. Uh, they just run it right at you. Lang goes right side to Alexander on the back row. Ball's dug by, I believe it was Markovska or, yeah, it was Markovska because Scott was in pursuit. 10-9 Hawaii. 
And Alexander right there doing a good job getting her feet to the ball. The set was drifting a little outside, but she got her feet to the ball very nicely, which is actually harder to do than you would think. Kate Lang at the service line up 10-9, goes cross court, changing it up, going towards Markovska, outside to Stockham, Stockham, off speed roll, dug by Alexander, beautiful dig, sets the middle and Evans from Lang, Bullis goes outside to Stockham, dug by Alexander, Lang back to Ham, Ham off the block, dug by Scott, Bullis goes left side, we got a double contact called on the set. Wow, Hawaii is not letting anything hit the floor. <laughs> back to back, Superman digs. And Robin Amo looks at Kaylin Alexander and says something that's super, that shows she's super fired up. <laughs> Let's just say it was positive. <laughs> Jump serve goes wide. Point going to Cal Poly. But Robin Amo was so excited, she yelled something, but now in a good way. Encouraging Alexander on defense. <laughs> I mean, those were two beautiful dives, two great digs back to back. Amy Hyatt back to the service line for the Mustangs. Tough serve pass by Alexander. Lang goes back to Wagner. She just has to adjust, but hits it wide. Weird approach for Wagner. It's almost like there is a miscommunication of the set. Exactly. The set a little low, so Wagner had to speed up, and it didn't allow her to have her full, natural, and normal approach. Let's uh, go to our courtside reporter, reporter uh, Chloe Clark, who's uh, right by Hawaii. Cal Poly is trying to lock in early this set to turn things around, so Hawaii's coach told her team to work up and go to the outside as their offensive strategy. Back to you, Rob. Thanks a lot, Chloe, and that is what they're doing. As you see Kendra Hand, they forced it out to the pin, and a touch, actually a net violation is called against Emmy Bullis. 12 serving 11, unforced errors, just the cause of Cal Poly's undoing here in the third set. They were, they had a good grasp of it early on, but now 12-11 lead for Hawaii. Markovska passes tight, set in the middle to Slack, picked up by Ikenaga, laying in the middle, and Slack denies Evans. I think secretly Slack was just wait, hoping as going to be set in the middle because she was flat-footed. <laughs> yeah, exactly. She leads her team in blocks. So she's been good all season long, and you see there, yep, she is a little flat-footed, but she waits, she holds, and then she dives her arms into that angle and shuts that ball off. High bump set to Alexander, she's denied, and Slack says, I'm not flat-footed, because I'm gonna get another stuff, <laughs> which she does along with Annabelle Falcon. And 13-12, Cal Poly. Back to serve is Emmy Bullis. Tough serve down the line. Alexander, good pass to Lang in the middle to Evans. And look out below. She did not take kindly of getting stuffed, so she hammers it instead. And that's what it takes to be a good team. You're getting in system, and then one of your players gets blocked. So you go to another athlete, you set someone else, and you see there the net wide open. 13 all, Ikenaga, tough serve, and look out below again. We've got a one-hit wonder, courtesy of Amber Ajiti. I don't think it gets any more straight down than this attack right here. That's got to be four-foot line, five-foot line. Really solid snap on the ball. 14-13, Markovska on the pass, Bullis out to Stockham, she's trapped, covered by Slack, outside to Stockham, Stockham swings, finds the empty real estate between Iganaga and Wagner. And that was impressive because Stockham didn't have her full approach at all, she didn't transition off the net quick enough, so she had to just, right here, you see, back arm swing, max jump as well as you can, and then deep swing to the open court. Deep float serve over to Wagner, laying outside to Alexander. Alexander with a cross-court crush. Alexander is on a mission tonight. Alexander now 14 kills. Point going to Hawaii. 15 serve to 14. Kendra Ham back to serve. Double-double for her. 10 kills, 17 digs as she serves it into the net. That's okay when you've got those kind of numbers. <laughs> exactly. She's having a really solid night. It's okay to make a few mistakes. Nobody's perfect. Jolea Akima back to serve at 15 all. She goes high line on the serve to Ham. Lang looks, shoots over to Ijide. Picked up by Hyatt, set by Stock and Markoska. Markoska dug by Ikanaga. Lang shoots the middle. Dug by Stockham, set by Bullis. Thalkin tips. She's denied, covered by Hyatt. 
set by Bullis, out to Markovska, Markovska reaching high and Tool in the outside block. Woo. There's no wonder why Markovska is getting close to 400 kills on the season. It's because even if she's off the net, she's still swinging with so much power and pace behind every ball. She has the unique ability to tool the block most of the time. A little short serve picked by Ham and just a broken play now. Free ball by Wagner. Stepping it past is Stockham. Bullis back to Thalkin. Thalkin denied and Amber Aijine just says, get that chunk out of here. <laughs> and she did a good job delaying her block. Seeing the tip, waiting to jump, holding in the air and putting it straight down. There was no way to cover that one. I think it's worse when they swat it with one hand, but I believe we have a video challenge on the court. It's going to be a challenge by, formerly by Caroline Walters and Cal Poly that there was a net violation on the Hawaii block. So video challenge on the court, but again, that block, it's one thing to get stuffed by two hands, but something about that one hand was just a diss. And that's so impressive, too, because she's on the way down, right? So she's falling. She's keeping one hand into the air because that's what's most natural in that situation. And then she still terminates, even with one hand. Well, I think she swatted at one hand, took her credit card, wallet, and her iPhone. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see the replay right here. Is there a net as what's being a challenge? And there was movement, but that was ball from, my, our, from our camera point here. Now that just was a nasty block. That's textbook. <laughs> That's the kind that makes you a legend right there. Oh, get out of here. <laughs> yeah, you see, she really does a good job closing it all the way. There's no seam. There's no gap in the block. She's diving into that open seam and taking it away. Diving into those angles as well and pressing over. And, and, she, and Amber IGD takes a lot of area when she's pressing over the net. That's one of the goals of a blocker, of course, to block it straight down, but then also to take up space, force the attacker to error, maybe get a block touch. IGD actually two kills away from 400. We've got our decision courtside. They were just like shaking their heads, but it looks like the play stands as called. Point remains with Hawaii. We're tied 16 all. Amber Iagini, they all have to say, been watching her entire career, has been one of the funnest players to watch, and one of the most charismatic athletes to be in indoor women's volleyball. Kaylin Alexander floats cross court, pass by Stockham. Bullis goes left side to Markovska, Markovska. She goes ballistic at the left pin. You can see she's kind of getting a rhythm back here. Yeah, but that center hitter connection is kind of working itself out. In the first two sets, the set was a little behind her, a little low, but Bullis and Markovska figuring it out here. Markovska taking advantage of that open seam in the block. We've got to wipe some uh, sweat or perspiration off the court. Uh, since then, Ellis Scott's checked in for Annabelle Falcon. As you have a few of the fans moving around to the music, it is Friday night after all. You know what happens on Friday nights? Well, I go to sleep at 9.30, so. <laughs> And in this case, we're watching some good volleyball. <laughs> Scott floats it down the line. Ham on the pass. Bump set by Langner. Wagner, Wagner being strong, but goes wide. I love the aggression of outside hitters. They don't want to settle for some soft roll or easy tip. I was thinking the same thing. She really had to work to get to that inside setting, get her, get her feet there, and she still swung at that, even though there's a higher chance of erring. 18 serve to 16. Scott, tough serve. Trap set. And Igene just elevates and drops one somewhere from 2,000 feet elevation. When she contacts that ball at its highest point and she snaps on it, it's coming at such a sharp trajectory, it's really difficult to dig. Double substitution for Hawaii, checking in for the first time, Jackie Matias in for Kendra Ham. Also coming in, Paula Gershing for Kate Lang and running a little 6 2 action here. Interesting here, Gershing's a big arm. Honorable mention for Hawaii this season. Great addition to the Hawaii team. Markovska, good pass outside Bullis, and she slices and dices between, actually, the inside hand of Evans and Gershing. Well, they're sticking with their lineup here. So, Lang just taking a breather. 19-17, that means 
Matias handling all these setting duties. Be interesting to see what transpires here. Coming in cold off the bench. Matias listed at 5'9", Richard Freshman from Honolulu, Hawaii, in the Punahou School, and a double contact. And immediately off the bench come Kendra Ham and Kate Lang after that hand, ball handling error. Kendra Hamm and Kate Paula Gershing and uh, Jackie Matias exit for the Rainbow Ahine. 20 to 17. Lang comes in and she's calling her offense quickly off the quick whistle. Wagner passes Lang in the middle of Evans and Evans just tips it by the block. Hyatt never even made it out to follow her attacker. You know, and that was a really good spot by Evans, who cut that ball off quickly. Crossbody tip to the open court. 18 serving at 20. It seems like the Hawaii fans want to get out of here in a straight set sweep. Ball is passed by Marcos. Got Bullis out to stock him. Stock him off the block. Lang picks it up off the block. Ikanaga bumps it right side to Ham. Ham inside the block. Dug by Scott. Goes over. Lang sets outside Wagner. Wagner tips. Covered by Scott. Set by Bullis. Out to stock him. Stock him. D9. Kendra Ham yells loudly to her teammates. Point Hawaii. Kendra Ham was all over that. Good pass, solid set, just dying a little inside and then Stockham with nowhere to go. That block perfectly closed. Kendra Ham pointing her palms towards the ground. Lang with a wicked float serve covered by Cal Pauly. Lang again sets outside Wagner. Wagner slicing it through the block. Point going to Hawaii. We're tied at 20s. And the Hawaii fans are loud like it's a fifth set already. <laughs> and momentum can shift that quickly in games like this. Lang back to the service line for Hawaii. Lang with 39 assists, 13 digs. Stockham just tips it over. Lang sets the middle of Evans, and it's knocked down. And now Evans is fired up. Eyes went big, and she yelled at her teammates. And we now got a timeout with Hawaii leading 21-20. Cal Poly seeing if they can stop this run by the Bows. My goodness, Hawaii came on fast. And that was a smart move by Kate Lang to set the middle. You need to capitalize on balls like that. It's a free ball. You need to do a quick set. And Kennedy Evans was in the air and ready for that. That was a really smart setting decision by Kate Lang. I mean, how much confidence does that show in your team by Coach Robin Amo? She puts in her backup setter, Jackie Matias. They're down by three. And oops, let's put Kate back in. And now they're up by one. And Kate is such a leader. She came out into the court. She was immediately yelling at everybody what to do. Of course, as the leader of the offense, that's what you should do. But Cal Poly just kind of coiled in a little bit. That, that was a free ball tip right there. I'm not sure if it was a little too low for Stockham, but now Hawaii is back in charge. You're looking at Long Beach State University. This year's championship here, their Outrigger Big West Women's Volleyball Championship brought to you by University Credit Union. Bank with your brain, visit ucu.org today. Teams are making their way back out to the court and looking at Cal Poly, they don't look rattled, they seem pretty relaxed. Hawaii obviously coming out with the adrenaline after that winner by Kennedy Evans. but. If I had to do a Beast Mode award tonight, I'd have to give it to Kendra Ham. 100%. <laughs> she has gone off on every single area of the court. Kate Lang back to the service line. Tough serve down the line. Stockham looks like tight. Bullis goes out to Stockham. Stockham is over the block. Dug by Lang. Saved by Ikanaga. Out to Wagner. Wagner off the block. Picked up by Markovska. Bullis goes outside to Stockham again. Through the block. Saved by Lang. Picked up by Alexander. Free ball by Wagner. Ball's passed by Stockham outside to Hyatt. And she puts it away. Markovska with a never say die on defense in the Cal Poly side. But that dig by Keith Lang. Phenomenal. Sprawling out, doing every single thing she can not to let the ball hit the ground. That's exactly what you want out of a semifinal. It's a never say die kind of attitude. Amy Hyatt back to the service line. Blackjacks at 21-21. 
Alexander passes off net. Lang gets her feet underneath it. Ham blocked at the net, covered by Evans. Lang goes back to Wagner. Wagner swings. Doug up and over. Picked up by Evans. Lang looks, shoots outside to the pin to Ham. Tipped over the block. Doug by Hyatt. Scott back bump sets outside to Stockham. Stockham cross court to Matt Ikanaka. Overpass. Slack knocks it down for the winner. And like that, Cal Poly goes up by one. And that's the ball that you absolutely have to terminate. And Kate Slack terminated. Redshirt Jr. playing with a lot of maturity in this situation. It's easy to get a little hyped when you got a ball over the net like that and overpass, but she took her time, jumped at the right time, and snapped on that ball, with, which is all you need to do in that situation. You may be having some injuries. Amy Hyatt on Cal Poly is being observed by the trainer right now. I didn't see what happened. I imagine someone ran into her, but even on that play on the Hawaii side, Kate Lang came down a little gingerly and was walking back with uh, Riley Wagner, and the trainer, Renee, was checking in with Kate Lang. I think she have, may have taken an elbow to the face because she's, she's wiping her mouth and her nose. Let's see on the replay here what happened. There's that tip. Hyatt goes down. Arm. Four, London, yep, it's an arm. And over here, Lang gets landed on by Evans. So we have a substitution. London Haberfield checks in for Amy Hyatt, 22-21. Pressure situation for Haberfield. Goes cross court, pass by Alexander. Lang goes back to Wagner. Wagner through the block and we're tied at 22. Wagner kicking it into gear here for the Rainbow Wahine. Kate Lang does such a good job spreading out that ball. Pin to pin, back set perfectly to Wagner's shoulder. Wagner, 12 kills, hitting 286 with four digs. Hits the serve, goes towards Markovska. Bullis outside of Stockham. Stockham dug by Ikanaga. One hand dish to Alexander by Lang, but a net violation. And Alexander she knew it right away. Alexander knows that one hand set by Lang. Man, for a broken play, that thing was pretty money. <laughs> Look at that. It really was. And just here, too much follow through. She wanted to kill that ball. Uh, as a former center, I'm like, oh, Cade, show me how to do that. <laughs> Alexander, good pass to Lang. She goes back out to Alexander. Alexander denied, but covered by Ikanaga. Knocked over by Lang. Covered by Akima. Cross court rip, dug by Lang. Off the attack by Thalkin. Saved by Alexander. Free ball by Wagner. Step gonna pass Scott. Going to Bullis. Outside to Stockham. Stockham drills it wide. Point, and we're tied. 23 23. Actually, it's Markovska on the dig at the middle back for Cal Poly. Taylor Ikanaga basically got her hand right underneath a fast coming ball off a block and kept that ball into play. So props to Taylor. I thought that ball was down, but that scrappy never say die attitude is exactly what you need and want out of the libero. She, uh, watching her warm up, she is so quick. And in all the play that I've seen her, she's been making the right first steps and is getting the balls and getting good reads. It's those quick twitch reflexes that she has that really helps her in those situations where she needs to dive out for a ball and dig it up at the last second. I prefer like fiction movies, like she's got the sixth sense or something. Yes. But that's a better call, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Ikanaga back to serve, 23-23. It's a race to 25 now. Markovska bad pass, say by Bullis. Stockham takes a rip through the block, laying on the dig. Ikanaga back, or bumps that's right side to Ham. Ham. Hits it wide. She pulled her hand back like a float serve, and it's set point Cal Poly serving to 23. And Tommy Stockham back to serve for Cal Poly. Stockham on the night, hitting that float serve towards Alexander Highball. Lang goes in the middle of none other than Amber Ajide, and she yells, let's go now. When in doubt, if the ball is in system, feed it to IGD. Terminates at such a high level. 400 kills or more on the season. Turning that swing cross court, snapping on that ball with so much power. Kendra Ham floats it down the line towards Akima. Outside to Markovska, tip covered by Alexander. Lang looks, shoots to Alexander on the two ball, and she puts it away. And that brings us to match point. 
serving at 24, and the Hawaii faithful on their feet, and it's going to get loud. The Hawaii faithful is so loud behind us. You have to love all of that team support. Benches clapping their hands with the Norse clap. Ham floats it over towards Akima. Bullis to Markovska through the block. Dug by Alexander. Bumps it by Ham. Wagner out of the back row. Dug by Akima. Bumps it by Slack. Roll shot by Markovska. Dug by Wagner. Lang looks, shoots. Ajide through the block for a point. Set and match. And the bones are gone to the ship, to the championship. That's right. The University of Hawaii defeats the Mustangs of Cal Poly in dramatic three-set fashion. 25-17, 25-18, 26-24 after none other than an Amber IGD slide, slide, slip and slide to take a walk on the wild side. I mean, IGD 12 kills hitting 462. Absolutely dominant from the very first point to the very last point. This Hawaii team played so clean throughout the entire match. You're looking at the score on there, and with that, we have our final set for tomorrow afternoon at 5 p.m. Hawaii coming in hot with a three-set sweep of yet another hot team, the Mustangs of Cal Poly, as they look to the crowd and throw the double shakas showing their fans and thanking them for their support here as they defeat the Mustangs and they go to the bracket board to put their name into the championship final here in the first ever Outrigger Big West Women's Volleyball Championship. You're looking at Kaylin Alexander, Jackie Matias, Kennedy Evans, Chandler Cowell sneaking in, holding it, and Amber IGD and Taylor Ikenaga holding the bracket that shows that they are in the ship. Ladies and gentlemen, with the win, Hawaii goes to 22 and 8, while Cal Poly goes to 21 and 11 to finish out the season. For Mads Fitzpatrick and the crew, I'm Rob Sparrow, but we've got our strong move of the game brought to you by Hercules Tire. And it's going to none other than Kaylin Alexander. 15 kills, hitting 222, two aces, and nine digs on the night. With that, we got our updated bracket showing on the screen. The number two seed, Hawaii. Faces a familiar foe, the number four seed, Long Beach State, and what promises to be an epic showdown. And with so much on the line, you know it's going to be epic. The winner of that match punches their ticket to the NCAA National Championship Tournament. The stakes could not be higher for the final tomorrow. As you see, the Hawaii Rainbow Wahine, thankful for their fans as they high five them as they exit the court here in the Walter Pyramid. So, with that, for Matt Fitzpatrick and our awesome ESPN Plus crew, I'm Rob Espero from the Walter Pyramid, where the University of Hawaii Rainbow Wahine defeat the Mustangs of Cal Poly three sets to zero to advance to the Outrigger Big West Women's Volleyball Championship match Saturday afternoon at 5 p.m. All games are streaming live and archived on ESPN.